Several years ago, a friend gave me this book, A Thousand and One Comics You Must Read Before You Die. And at that time in my life, I was getting a little tired of just reading superhero comics, and this is exactly what I needed. I discovered that there were comics from all over the world that I'd never heard of before, and stuff dating back over 120 years. This was an eye-opener for me, and I'm going to share some of my selections that I consider some of my favorite comics that I found uh, thanks to this book. So I hope that you join me and give some, some new comics a chance. You might be surprised at what you might like. I don't know many Argentinian comics, but this is one that I definitely know. It's called The Eternaut. It's by H.G. Osterheld and illustrated by Francisco Lopez. And it was serialized between 1957 and 1959. This is an incredible story about a group of people hiding out in a house because Buenos Aires is uh, sprinkled by what they assume is nuclear fallout. It's a story about the Cold War that turns into a major sci-fi epic. Uh, it goes in places you'd never imagine and it's just an incredible ride from start to finish. Um, if you like hard sci-fi, space opera and all that kind of stuff, uh, there's, this is a book that you'll want to check out. Now, a lot of you may be put off just by the fact that it was published in 1957. Maybe you're not a fan of reading comics from that era. You just don't like that style. Well, this comic actually reads quite modern, and I think a lot of that is because of the modern translation by Erica Mnina when it was published by Fantagraphics a few years ago. It reads very, very well, and I encourage anyone to pick it up who's a fan of science fiction. H.G. Osterheld was a very outspoken political activist in the 1970s during the Dirty War, and he and his family were actually whisked away by the government and never seen again. <laughs> he just disappeared. And so this comic is a testament to his career, his political views, and just his life in general. So uh, I recommend it. It's an incredible read, an incredible snapshot of the time, and a great lesson for you who want to learn more just about Argentina, it's quite interesting. So check this one out. <laughs>